Okay, I have a um, little lesson on the word solve. What does it mean when you're asked to solve? What does solve mean? Let's just turn my video off, hang on. It slows the computer down. What does solve mean? Well, um, it is a mathematical job that you have to do and the point of solve is solving for something so when it says solve and it doesn't say anything what it could be saying or what would be nicer if it said solve for something or other all right solve for something now we only have one letter in this equation it's algebra it has letters in it and the letter that we have is a Q. I don't know why they picked Q, they just decided on a Q. So the best way to have said it would be to say, solve for Q. So if they don't tell you what to solve for, then hopefully there's only one letter in there, otherwise you're going to be stuck, because you've got an A and a B and it says solve, you're going to, well, which one are you talking about, A or B? So hopefully, when they just say solve, there's only one letter. What they're wanting you to do is get the equation around so that Q is on one side and everything else is on the other side. That's it. So our job is let's get all the Q's on one side, all the numbers on the other down to just Q by itself and numbers on the right hand side that gives us the answer. That's what solve means. Now that means we're doing what's known as um, changing the subject of the equation. So when we say subject of equation, most equations like, you know, electrical equation, V equals IR, the subject is V. So you have one letter on one side, that would be called the subject of the equation. So in this case, V is the subject. Or we could change this equation around. Maybe we've got torque. Torque equals um, force times distance alright and and torque is my subject but if I want to change that around I want force to be the subject then I'd have to get my D out of here D is being multiplied so I have to do the reverse of multiplying which is division and then I'll say okay F is torque divided by D alright so what I've done there is I've changed the subject of equation just give them some quick little examples of changing the subject of the equation here. Right, now we have some rules about changing subject of the equation that can be summarized pretty much with just one statement, and that is you're allowed to do whatever you like so long as you do it to both sides, all of both sides. And so you can do anything so long as whatever you do, you do to both sides. And that's the important bit. It's got to be both sides. Otherwise, you've changed the equation. Well, that's good. It's always nice to do a very simple example so we can see if it makes sense. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Right? Now, I'm going to say, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of this 2. I'm going to put it over the other side. So, what I'm really doing is, how do I get rid of a 2? At the moment, the left-hand side has left-hand side plus 2. So the whole of the left-hand side has, is having 2 added to it. So I'm going to do the opposite of this operation. It's plusing at the moment. So in order to get rid of it, I'm going to minus it. Come on. So if I, on this side, subtract 2, Minus 2, that's not power, that's a minus 2 on that side. I also have to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. So 3 plus 2 minus 2, so those 2 will cancel out. And so I end up with just 3 on that side. Equals, and on this side I have 5 minus 2, which equals 3. Okay, see how that equation still works. It's still true. So if I do the same thing, for example, that does show that I can subtract 2 from both sides, it doesn't change the equation. But if I subtracted it only from one side, I would have 3 equals 5. I've wrecked the equation. 
So whatever you do has to be to both sides. Then you're allowed to add something to both sides or subtract from both sides or you can multiply both sides by a number or you can divide both sides by a number or even a letter or anything. And that's not all. You can even power. Like you can do a square root and you can even square it. So you can do powers, multipl multiplication, and uh, addition, subtraction, division. So anything. And that's it. But the trick is it has to be to the whole side. So sometimes you can't do it. And uh, we'll give an example with um, the area of it. Well, let, let's just have a look at this one first. This is a fairly easy one. So we've got 5q minus 3 equals 1 minus 4q. What is our goal? Our goal is to get q on one side, numbers on the other side. So let's, let's concentrate on getting all the q's on one side. We've got a 5 on the left, so let's pick the left-hand side for the q's. Now I'm subtracting four Q's from the right hand side. So what's the opposite of subtracting four Q's? Adding four Q's. All right, so what I'm gonna do first step is on my right hand side, I'm gonna add four Q's. But I'm not allowed to do that unless I also add four Q's on the right hand side. Okay, now I haven't changed the equation. That's all, um, that's, it's still, the equal sign is still working because I, I balanced it. It's another way of saying you've got to balance both sides. All right, now I've got a minus 4q and a plus 4q. Those two cancel out. That was the whole point of doing that. And now I've got, let's rewrite the equation again. So 4q plus 5q, okay, it's 4. I've got four Q's and I've got five Q's, so altogether now I've got nine Q's. Because if they're Q's, I can add them together, but I can't add the three, because a three is a number, not a Q. So imagine Q stands for apples, right? I've got four apples and five apples. Okay, I've got nine apples. But three might stand for um, money, three dollars. You can't add apples and dollars. All right, so minus three, leave that separate, can't combine with the Q. And we've only got a 1 left on the right-hand side. So we're getting close. We want Q's only on one side, so let's get our numbers over the other side. What do we have to do? We have to get rid of our 3. It's supposed to go to the other side. I'm going to do this one step at a time. So I'm subtracting 3 from the left-hand side. The opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So let's add 3 to that side. And to keep it balanced, I add 3 to that side. All right, the whole point of that was to get rid of the 3 from this side. You'll notice That's what we're really doing is when we're putting the 3 to the other side, we're swapping the operator. It was a minus 4, becomes a plus 4. It was a minus 3, becomes a plus 3. All right, now we can simplify that again. All right, now we've got 9q is the only thing left on the left-hand side equals and 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, getting close now. We're nearly down to what we want. We just want Q by itself on one side. We're very close. We, at the moment now, the 9Q, the Q is being multiplied by 9. So what can we do that's the opposite of multiplying by 9? Dividing by 9. So I can divide this side by 9, but I'm only allowed to do that if I divide that side by 9. The whole point of that is to cancel those two nines out. So what I just did was, I've got nine apples, I divide by nine, I've got one apple left. So nine whatevers, Q stands for whatever, nine whatevers divided by nine leaves me with a whatever. Yeah, I'm lost. Just the last step now, so Q is four nines. It's going to stop.